mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shine and bright above. stuff in here check out this clock that is very cool I love that mm -hmm. gold frame clock all these little butterfly decals oh and this is why you have to dive a little deeper into some booths because check out all these smaller but very cool I think that's painted onto a leaf Cool little pieces of art. I love you, Chocolate. Bird art. Very you, pretty. Yeah. All those dark, moody colors. Oh, yes. Do you like that turtle? Oh, yeah, I turtle. love wooden stuff. Yeah. Pretty. Wooden bird art. Oh, I love these. A lot of times I see that they're made in Mexico, but they use real feathers to make the art. Look at that colorful bird. And I just love the detail on these wooden frames. Let's see what, let's see. Yep, Mexican feather art bird, 42. Very cool. These are cool. I like the little handle. detail on this frame. I love that. Let's see if we can find a price. That beautiful frame. Love that. I just keep finding the best art. And here is another really cool frame. But look at this. That's an Alice in Wonderland print. Isn't that cool? Blue. For some reason, I don't often see blue quilts or um, afghans, but this one is beautiful. Can't find the tag. We'll see if I can find it. Found it. Crochet blanket. Vintage brass inkwell. What caught my eye over here is this brass candle holder here. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze over here. I've got baby hanging out with me. <laughs> Let's see. There's four candelabra. Yeah, that is just so pretty. Very unique piece right there. pieces really that's such a cool unique mirror right there vintage mirror with oh it comes with the bottom piece this is a fun piece I'm always loving candlesticks but what caught my eye was this is this little guy separate butterfly oh ooh, nice it's brass big one they actually look kind of nice together. I have been on the hunt for some bookends. These would be a little bit too large for what I need, but if you loved elephants, what a cool find. Cool old frame. I think it's wooden. Could just need a little bit of touching up and a picture. <laughs> 
maybe was a headboard, but then it got turned into, um, I think they called it a valet. With these little hooks, you could hang things. This outdoor area is so very cool. And as you guys can see, it's raining. <laughs> But they've got another section of goodies to look at. Come here, baby. Come here. Ooh, a drafting table. It's big. Look at this sweet little chair, little child's rocking chair, but I really like this pillow. I like the colors. Point pillow 28. Yeah, those tones. <laughs> Look at all the brass pieces and the giant giraffe. Look at all these old ice skates. Hello again, friends. We decided to return back to City Antiques a few days later without our toddler so we could continue our adventure. All right, we got a closer inspect of this guy right here. What an interesting character. Ooh, it's quite heavy. Cast iron. Punch contortionist. What is going on with this? I feel like there's a lid. Mm-hmm. I like that. So I don't know if I mentioned it already or not, but I am on the hunt for some bookends. They can't be too big because they're gonna go on my shelves that I made, my little our little library area love the horses i find a lot of those actually it's funny all the interesting bookends you find when you're looking for those kinds of things wow that is huge and it comes in its original shipping box i feel like you can never have enough of these kinds of things blankets quilts they're all just so cool I'm always a sucker for what looks like a candlestick look at that never seen one like this before little mouse reading a book <laughs> is he sitting on a piece of cheese too looks like some ceramic teeny weeny candlesticks candle holders although you'd have to find some very small ones cool for something different looking and ceramic which i love and always appreciate don't have anywhere to put that though so I'm trying to be very smart about some of those things this year and just shopping with intention and I don't know doing my best to do that anyway <laughs> it can be challenging especially when you visit antique malls and thrift shops frequently it's very easy to overdo it and get too many things that you don't need always love that color blue but like I said it's just an attempt we can all attempt to do better <laughs> now that is pretty but again where would I put that 
What would I do with it? That'd be a great jewelry catch trinket tray. But I have those in abundance, so let's keep looking. Aha, uh -huh. now this is actually something that I was looking for. I had in mind a wooden one, but that's pretty cool. I haven't seen one that looks like this. I have to get that. Now check out these bookends. I, uh, I'm in need of some smaller ones, but I just love the fact that these are so different. Ah, Art Deco, no wonder I like them. That is a style that I never tire of. Now there are some bookends. Again, too big, but how cool. Oh my goodness. And they're alabaster, quite hefty, but so pretty and unique. I love that. I spotted some more bookends and look. Horsies. If you love horses and you need some bookends, check out an antique shop because I am sure you will find <laughs> some bookends to suit you. And I'm just realizing that a lot of them are large, but I know if I'm patient and I just keep looking, I'll find some that are more low profile. I was even thinking brass items because they're nice and hefty they work great as bookends because I don't necessarily need them to match I'm not super matchy matchy anyway so if I find something brass that I just have to have and is small enough that could work too see a cool little glass figurine and then I take a closer look it is most often a neat vintage Avon perfume bottle or cologne bottle how cool is that look at this one <laughs> that's awesome David found these beautiful bookends something different big old bronze marlins but the big ol' <laughs> part is what we don't need. Needs to be a little smaller. The hunt continues. I just adore this whole area that has all these vintage books. It just looks like you're stepping into another world. Well, we didn't bring anything home this time, but I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the beautiful treasures that are out there. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.